Babe, do you want to watch a bar movie? You want to watch a bar movie? Yes. With me? Yeah, with you. No. Yeah. You want to watch one now? Yeah, right now. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Okay, welcome everyone welcome to... Welcome to a new video of the Dutch Bun Fan. My name is Lirit and... Uh, She's my lovely girlfriend that <laughs> I've been eager to introduce to you guys. Hi! And welcome! <laughs> so, today is a historic day because Lirit has agreed to voluntarily, she asked me to, I watch asked. a Bond movie. And I promise you I did not give her any money under the table <laughs> or give her presents or anything nope. like that. Here we are, so mm. the wet dream of any Bond fan, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, Lirit is pretty much a clean slate when it comes to Bond. She pretty much has zero experience with it. So that's all the Sorry, more... Sorry guys. <laughs> that's all the more fun. No, not at all. You don't have to apologize for that. But I wonder uh, how she'll uh, like her first experience. Because I believe you've only seen one of the Daniel Craig ones, right? Yes. That's correct. You don't remember which one? No, I think Casino Royale or Skyfall. Do you have any memories from watching either Casino Royale or Skyfall? Any recollections? Not at all? So we're off to a good start then. So hopefully <laughs> when she sees this movie, she does have any recollections of it because we're going to be watching a classic. I got to pick it and I think this was the best choice in my hope or an attempt for you to enjoy it, and it's Goldfinger. Goldfinger. And it's considered the classic of all classics among Bond With fans. Daniel Craig? No, it stars Sean Connery. That's your favorite one. That's my favorite, yes. And it's. I know that. It's a movie that came out in 1964, so put that in perspective, back then your parents were still small children. My mom wasn't even born. She was born a year later. And my dad was... Ten? Yeah, your dad must have been ten or nine. Nine. I'm not that good at math. And um, my dad was two. So that's how long ago it is. So I can already warn you that because this movie came out in the 60s, you're going to see stuff that isn't necessarily correct anymore today, mm -hmm. but um, it is what it is, yeah, so you're just going to have to view it in the time that it was made in. But before we get to all that, what do you expect to see in a Bond movie? What are your expectations of it? A lot of action. Um, I don't know, one of the things I saw on trailers. Um, a lot of action, a lot of fighting, and a lot of women. You're pretty much spot on there. Yeah. And do you expect to enjoy what you're going to see? Well, I enjoy uh, watching action movies, so I think I will enjoy the Bob movies. But I hope. I hope so too. So we're going to see if Lira is still smiling after watching <laughs> Goldfinger here today. I will. I hope. So we're going to see how yeah, things go. Next time, so. oh. oh, no, you don't. Ah. Oh. This is no time to be rescued. Welcome hey. back. Hi. <laughs> I'm still smiling. <laughs> Luckily, she still is. So, uh, we just finished <laughs> watching Goldfinger and, um, well, we're just going to start. What did you think? Just your initial thoughts. Hmm, there wasn't a lot of action in it. I fell asleep three times. So you dozed off a few I dozed, I dozed <laughs> off, okay. But overall, it's a good film. Okay. Yeah. Well, that surprises me actually because I thought it. Well, I thought that uh, Sean Connery, I never watched this film, but he's quite handsome. Yeah. yeah he's one of the guys you're definitely allowed to say that about because he is. He's a good looking <laughs> dude. 
So were your expectations beforehand uh, different to what you got to see? Um, yes. <laughs> so you expected a lot more action. Mm. Was it more serious or more comedic no. than you expected? Um, well, in the years 1960s, I think, mm -hmm. um, this was all new, so... Yeah, this the was color, groundbreaking. Yeah, the colors, um, the actions, like they blew up a car. Yeah. Like out of nothing. Yeah, so she laughed about a lot of the stuff that... Like she's she's talking about the car chase with the TB5 where the like bad guys in Mercedes just blew up. She yeah. started laughing. And uh, also like in the airplane when the guy like the bad guy the villain <laughs> sucked out of the airplane like that was really, impossible. Really I'm a flight attendant, but that's yeah. not possible. Yeah, and that's that's I found that very interesting too because my girlfriend's a flight attendant, the stewardess, if you will. And she pointed out a lot of the, um, the details. aviation yeah, stuff. The and um, like, like she, she said, so airplane windows aren't supposed to be able to break that easily. It's possible, but it's a slight chance. Okay. I, I thought it was funny. I, I pointed out to him. Yeah, and you pointed out more of the airplane stuff because when, when they land in Baltimore mm. and uh, Mylene, the stewardess, you know, she asked Bond oh, to yeah, get out the, yeah. the stairs, which the was stairs. ridiculous to her because, you know, it's her job. But for him, it was like normal. He was like, oh, yeah, okay. And I was like, no, that's not normal. A flight attendant is like, that's her job to open the door. Yeah, and Bond even, did it for her. Even yeah. though in like uh, emergency situations, you have to open that door, like, uh, it's it's not that hard, it's not that hard to, like, fall so out the she stairs. She seems a bit incapable to you. Yeah. Well, I don't know if she actually was then, a flight attendant, no, she was she's she's more like, like, a, like a student, yeah, like a, like a, like a, like um, a waitress in the sky, yeah. basically. But, um, okay, so Sean Connery, let's talk a little bit more about him. So you fought him with handsome. a handsome guy, yeah, mm. all right. Mm. Um, how did you like him? How did you like him as James Bond? It was quite like chill, I got this. Like Throughout the whole movie. Yeah, like chill, I got this guys, I will, <laughs> does, I will do this. Does he ever seem in real danger in this film? He was, quite oh. a lot. With the laser maybe in the yeah. Switzerland. Also when the girl in the... Like mountains, like point to the gun. Oh yeah, yeah. Also, Switch on the scene. Um, because the the critique this movie sometimes get is that James Bond in this film doesn't really do much. Like he gets prison, no, uh, he's in, in prison true. for a while, then he, he's under the model. He does write stuff down, but that doesn't go anywhere. And then you know he's but strapped that's to like the bomb. spy stuff. Like that's new in those years, mm -hmm. but. His attire was always on point. Oh, yeah. You see, always. You see, he's still on Connery. You, see, you can't get him out his head. Always. Like, <laughs> what, always. What did you think of the, the grey suit he wears near the end of the film? No, that's, you have one. Yeah, I have a suit like him. Not that but one. Also, he also has the haircut like him. <laughs> like, sure, now I see, see him. <laughs> You see now the resemblance? I, yeah, to now Connery? I get it. Like, that's, that's the best compliment I've ever, I've ever received so far. No, but um, <laughs> my, uh, the point I was going to make, I was going to go to the other characters. So, Pussy Galore. Yeah, that um, name is so weird. Why? <laughs> why do you it's call memorable. her? It's memorable. No, but why do you call her Pussy Yeah, but I think it's funny too because throughout millions of names. every time. She gets a dress, like Bond addresses her, like, oh, Pussy. Oh, Pussy. Yeah, it's funny that when her name is Pussy, I think it's a, it's cool. But the gold, like the women, the woman in gold, mm -hmm. that was quite awesome. Yeah, it's an iconic scene. Although there was, of course, a lot um, weird about that as well, because she's painted in gold, and yeah. supposedly she died from skin suffocation, but we don't breathe through our skin, we breathe through our mouths. And yeah, lungs. but she's all in gold, right? 
Mm -hmm. But you, your skin... Yeah, that's true. They, they, really they even uh, debunked it on Mythbusters at some point. But it's, it's one of the most iconic, memorable moments that hopefully you won't even forget about. But, um, so I was talking about the characters, and uh, we, we talked a little bit briefly about Pussy Galore, who was actually, in the novels, he was a lesbian. In the movie, it's kind of implied. Yeah. Did you get the vibes he was lesbian in this no, film? No, but, you know, in, back in the days, like the 1960s, it was quite, like, yeah, you don't not allowed, taboo. Yeah, yeah. not allowed to yeah. say it. So that's, I think that's why they don't I think so too, yeah. I think they don't address it um, because, before, uh, because of that reason. There's also, now that we're on the subject of, of the women, there's also a lot of stuff that didn't age well. Like, there was the moment of Bond slapping Dink's ass in the beginning of the movie. Uh, man talk. And there's also the part where Bond I wouldn't say molests pussy galore, oh my because, God, yes. uh, but that part you were you like, as if we you were You cannot do away. that, like, yeah. you cannot, maybe back in the days, but not now. But can, can you imagine that at, at that time, women and men, they, they viewed it as perfectly normal and romantic, kind of the, the play of men and women to over men like a woman like that mm. well maybe now like when he does it to me like it's normal <laughs> in the bedroom <laughs> You know the dungeon, mm -hmm. and then at the end, he's like pushing her down and kisses her. There, there's so much parodies of that of of Bond. Uh, Family Guy even did a part of it where James Bond goes. Now, time for some unfinished business. No, James. Yes. No, James. Yes, you are going to have sex with me. No, James, I don't want to. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Okay, yes. See that? Fifty no's and a yes means yes. And then, and then, That's and then, Bond says, see? <laughs> Fifty no's and a yes means yes. It's kind of joked about, too, in, that, in those days, but... But that seemed like... You won't see that talk, you know, like, she, He slapped her on the butt. He di didn't even know her. Yeah. Knew her. Yeah. Like... They didn't That's well. weird, like... Yeah. Well, if, if Daniel Craig did that in today's films, I mean, I can see the feminists like with with yeah, like torches but that's, that's, standing. Yeah, but that's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not anymore. No, but those were the sixties. I warned you beforehand. But yeah, times have changed, luckily. Um, other characters in the movies, like uh, Odd Job, the guy with the hat, the Korean. <laughs> what did you think of Odd Job? Um, a robot. Kind of a robot. Yes. In what sense? Um, he didn't talk. Yeah, he was mute. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was addressed. He, he only says, ah ha! And that, that's yeah. Um, he was so strong. He was like a robot. Yeah, you didn't buy it. No. But can you Not take enjoyment out of the escapism that, you know, Bond is facing like a super-powered henchman or is to, to you? It's like, I log off here. This is, uh, this is too unrealistic yeah. for my taste. Yeah, the second one. All right. Because in the vault, that was the most... Boring part for you, I think. You <laughs> dozed off a bit there. Yeah. yeah, and that's supposed to be one of the highlights, because it's a magnificent film set taking place I, there. Yeah, well, I, I woke up when he, like, electrocuted him. Um, but the rest, yeah, it's like a blur to me. Hmm. Too bad, yeah. <laughs> I, I tried to wake her up as much as possible, but now it seems like you missed the whole movie, which is not the case at all. I think it was just the part with um, where they take the car up to the crusher mm -hmm. to kill the, the guy, and you were like, where, where is the guy? Because the guy wasn't even on the back seat anymore. They, should have, they could have put a doll in there. You know? yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. The guy wasn't even there. Yeah. Like, so that's that's the mo where, that's the moment she wakes up. Right? When something happens and where where she where she can come and then she wakes up, but when there's nothing happening, then she she gladly throws herself. 
Yeah, but it's a very, and, and very, like very girl point. In the woods, like he, he was he like threw the, threw the hat at that girl, and she was like, no yeah, scratch. But no scratches. Not the She was like pretty dead. The scene before, like with the statue thing, the whole hat was like cut off. Like, how is that possible? Would, would, would you have preferred to see her be decapitated in that movie and see but no the, head and it, all kind of a puddle of blood? That's more realistic. It is. That's true. But uh, it wouldn't necessarily be for all audiences anymore. Maybe. Yeah, okay, maybe but then the you have to do the technical stuff with the statue. Difference. Yeah, and I, I agree, and it's actually a point I made in my uh, my review on it as well, what, and exactly this point you make, so I'm completely guilty of the same critique myself. There was another moment where you thought was pretty fake, that's when she starts commenting. It's when the DB5 drove oh, up. Oh, yes, the Aston Martin, beautiful car. I'm glad she does say that though. It's, right it's, over there. Yep, that's the Lego one. It's the best car in the series, basically. It appears in eight movies of, in Bond so far, including the new one. But there was the moment you, you started like, why did he fall for this? And it's the moment at the factory in Switzerland when Bond drives up to the mirror. And, oh and yes, with the, with the with the lights. Yeah. I thought, oh, what's that? What's that? And he just drove into the wall. Yeah. Like he's 007, right? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. 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 yeah true. <laughs> Not his finest hour. Did no. It? no. No. I just laughed at him. Like, yeah. Come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. And uh, speaking of that, then it's followed by one of the most iconic scenes: the laser scene of Bond being strapped to the gold table. And the laser oh, cutting yes. through to his testicles. What did yeah. you think of that scene? Fake. Fake. But because of the laser, because the, they, they actually did, they started cutting underneath. Oh the yes, table. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that all that was like real. But um, he just mm, didn't buy that. The no, because you, I already knew like the bad guy, the villain would stop it. Like it. He couldn't ex escape. Luckily, he yeah. was like this. There wouldn't be much of a Bond movie if this was cut in half. No, but he was like this, and he was like, "Okay, just chill. I will say like a few lines, and then he will think about it, <laughs> and then I will watch the laser." But, but, like, but oh my god! The funny it's thing is, there. he does mention it, but while you were watching, she was on the edge of her seat. Believe it or not, no, kind of. Okay, maybe she wasn't. And the the dude that was. Operating it, Ari Goldfinger. Let's talk a little bit about him. What do you think of the villain, the, villain, <laughs> the villain of this movie? Um, he was a German. Right? The actor is yeah. not in the movie. In the movie um, he's supposed to be British, but well, I could hear his like German. Yeah, but like I said, he is actually dubbed. It's not his voice that you Yeah, hear. that was also but like perfectly like... Yeah, it's very seamless. Yeah. Very seamless. But the guy that's dubbing him, I think deliberately does a bit of a German totally, accent yeah, to be more in line sense. of the real voice. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Um, but, uh, Goldfinger does a lot of cheating in the film. Uh, he cheats with <laughs> cards, he cheats with the gold. I always cheat also with like gays. Don't yes, he's kind of my <laughs> blood finger, so, so, so to speak. But um, were there any of the scenes you enjoyed there? Like in, in Miami or with the golf? I, I, I saw you laughing when uh, Barn well, took the key from take, the, the hotel girl and just went into the, the hotel Yeah, that's thing. also weird. Like, girl, somebody takes your like card, put it in... <laughs> Some kind of room, and you just walk away. Yeah, <laughs> like, she does nothing. What? She doesn't alert anyone, not the management. No, nothing. Yeah. She was like, "What are you doing? It's the room of gold fingers. Oh my god! Oh my god!" And just walks oh, off. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's I. I like to see it because now we get to see it through a female's eyes, and they look a lot more to girl do something, and that there's. But a lot she of has nice here. shoes. I did not notice her shoes. White, white heels. I'm going to put a scene here and see if her shoes are actually white. But I, I'll take your word for it. White heels! <laughs> for real, All they're right. white no, heels. No, I believe you. Yes. I believe you. So, to, to sum it up, um, we've seen Goldfinger. Mm. If you would give it a rating, mm. like, like say 1 to, to 10, 
and take all the things you find important in a movie into account, what, what would you rate it? My personal opinion... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just be honest. Like, one time watching and mm -hmm. that's it. Or like, okay, one time watching and then if I like it, like all the movies in a marathon. <laughs> we don't do a marathon, okay? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just okay, not just so <laughs> But you, you yeah. said that you could put it more in perspective if you like saw more time. of the films. Yes, you mean? Okay. Okay. But for now it's like... I will give it a 6. Alright. That's fair. Yeah. So we at least uh, got it um, a above a 5. So yeah. that's, that's good. And the girls in the, and the, the actresses, they were pretty. They were pretty. Mm -hmm. But like the villain girls, they were all blonde. Yeah, you mean like the the, the squadron of chicks with the pointy tits? Yeah, they were all blonde. Mm. Like, okay. yeah, you would prefer to see someone maybe with your hair color in between there as well. Yeah, lots of blondes in this movie. Of, yeah, there were lots lots of blondes. Yeah, no, that's true actually. M Mylene might be the only one. With the yeah, the ones. only Asian. Yeah, Other. there were a lot of Asians in this movie though. Oh, yeah, the, but the cool <laughs> thing is, uh, Asians guys. in pajamas. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, any other last thoughts you have on this movie as a whole that you want to mention before we uh, finish off this video? Shall we just watch another one? You do want to watch another one? Yeah, but uh... I'm happy you do. Because that was going to be my final question. So, um, what was the one with the, with the one you liked? I like. I personally like License to Kill a lot and Casino Royale, Goldeneye. There's a lot more I could. But recommend. the one with like the the one I told you about with the yeah, truck baron. Yeah, yeah, that's License to Kill. Oh, okay. You want to watch that one, maybe? Yeah, that one sounds interesting. Yeah, well, we'll see if uh, this is... I think this that one is, is more with action and more with blood. Right? There is more blood in that mm -hmm. one, definitely. Mm -hmm. it's, it's considered to be the most gory, so like disgusting bomb movie in terms of uh, oh, graphic right, right. it is. But I so, like horror, so... Yeah, you you would like uh, License to Kill a lot more. It's definitely not a kid's movie. That's the most badass, mature bomb movie in the series, pretty much. But, um, yeah. so... Hopefully you liked hearing the thoughts on uh, someone that barely saw any Bond and hear it from a female point this of view. This was my first Bond movie. Yeah. I watched from begin to end. Like yeah. With three, All the three, way through. Yeah. yeah. With, a couple of with a couple of doses. <laughs> So, but, um, so hopefully you enjoyed this as well and looks like she enjoyed it enough to maybe do this more often and we'll get back to you to perhaps see more of the Bond movies in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this. Take care guys and talk Hi. to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Do you like my work and would you like to help this channel grow? Well, consider becoming part of the exclusive DBF community and help support my channel. What is the DBF community? Well, it's the community over at my Patreon page made for the biggest fans of my channel. Why did I create this community? Well, you see, every average project you see on here takes me roughly 30 to 40 hours to produce and upon uploading it, all revenue is pretty much taken away immediately by MGM or other film studios, unfairly as it goes against the fair use policies. So that's why I'm always looking for support and set up this community on Patreon for the biggest diehard fans of my work. I am a believer that those who support me should be rewarded with a ton of perks like getting 2 weeks early access to all my latest videos, receiving a personal thank you video from me. I will also send you my custom made Blu-ray covers that you can print out and put in empty Blu-ray boxes 
and you get exclusive access to the supporters discord server where you can chat with me and fellow Bond fans whenever you like. And everybody that supports me also builds towards new goals for the channel's future. All these perks come for a little $3 a month. All support is appreciated immensely. Thanks a lot guys.